In this problem, we're being asked to find the slope of the tangent line to the function f of x equals x squared plus 1 when x equals 3. So we know the derivative tells us the slope of the tangent line, so that's a good place to start. And let's start by just writing out the definition of the derivative. So the definition is the limit as h approaches 0 of f of x plus h minus f of x divided by h. So this is the definition, and, and how do we use it now? Well, we have a function, so we can just plug these values into the function, and then we also have uh, an x, uh, an x value, so we can plug that in for every x we see. So let's get started. First of all, let's plug in 3 into these x's. So this will end up being the limit as h approaches 0 of f of 3 plus h minus f of 3, all divided by h. Okay. Now what? Well, now we just plug in this 3 plus h into every x we see. So we just cram it in for x, and the same thing here. We take this 3, and we cram it in for x. So let me show you what I mean. So this is equal to the limit as h approaches 0 of 3 plus h squared so I took that 3 plus h and I crammed it into the x plus 1. So that's this. Oop, sorry about that. What the heck is going on? OK. Uh, so that's this first part here. Then we have to subtract the next part, so minus. Uh, and we're going to do the same thing. We're just going to plug. 3 in for every x, so 3 squared plus 1. So that's this part here. Okay. And this is all still divided by h. And now we just have some simplifying to do. This is just a limit. We've learned how to do lots of limits, uh, ones that are, are somewhat similar to this, so let's just go through that process. So this is going to be the limit as h approaches 0. Uh, let's expand this, so that's going to be 9 plus 6h plus h squared plus 1. So that's that first bit here, minus 9 minus 1 divided by h. So that's just a little bit of algebra. All I did was expand this term, and I distributed this negative sign. Okay, so now we have a, a, a bunch of canceling to do. We have a plus 1 and a minus 1, a plus 9 and a minus 9. And now let me just rewrite this just so we can see what we have left here. Uh, we're left with a 6h plus h squared divided by h. And now we can factor an h out of the numerator. So this is the limit as h approaches 0 of 6, sorry, 6 plus h times h. So I just factored out an h, divided by h, and now I can cancel these h's. And this is equal to the limit as h approaches 0 of 6 plus h. And now we know from limit our, our limit properties, we can plug this 0 in for h and, and just solve our limit. So this is going to be equal to 6 
plus zero, which of course is just equal to six. Okay, so we've gone through this whole process from start to finish, and we ended up with the number six. So what does that tell us? Well, going back, it tells us the slope of the tangent line. Remember, this is the derivative. It tells you the slope of the tangent line to this function. That's the function we used when x is equal to 3. We already plugged our 3 in. So the slope of that tangent line is 6. Now, let's take a look at that. Here is the function x squared plus 1. And what we're saying is when x is 3, the slope of the tangent line to this function is 6. So the slope of this tangent line is 6. That's what we figured out by taking the derivative. Okay, so this video is about six minutes long. Uh, I went through every step uh, relatively slowly, so you should be able to solve these problems uh, pretty quick if you understand everything. Okay, see you in the next video.